learn what are the top 100 to 1000 x meme ai and new cryptocurrencies with the potential to turn one thousand dollars into one hundred thousand if not a million dollars i am going to be ranking the following cryptocurrencies for their multiplier potential in my tier list because this is the absolute best way in order to communicate what potential do i see for these cryptocurrencies i'm going to be explaining to you what are the narratives or pumpamentals that these cryptocurrencies exploit in order to be able to make those ultimate 100 to 1000 x gains so we're going to be looking at a range of cryptocurrencies. We're going to be starting with some fundamentally more strong coins. And then we are going to move into the degenerative pile of cryptocurrencies, the meme coins. So if you're excited about that, then make sure you watch this whole video because my name is the Supo Man. Your superhero of 100 to 1000 X cryptocurrencies. I have found a large number in the past and I love to provide you with alpha. I like to provide you with non pumpamental you know, permable kind of, you know, hypnotizing you with all this really powerful language to say, you better buy this, you better buy that, it's got a 10,000 X. Shit. I give you the absolute most realistic ways to make 100 to 1,000 X and it's not easy. Everybody thinks their coin's going to do a 100 to 1,000 X and it is not because you need almost the most perfect scenario for that to happen but i know what unlocks those scenarios so make sure you watch on and if you love content like this make sure that you smash a like on this video all you have to do is just tap that like and it really helps me a great deal also if you really want to be in the know what i am buying and when then i would ensure that you buy this the cryptocurrency investment course 2024 for ten dollars and go to the final lecture. There's so many people that say, say, Super, how do I access your Telegram group? Right, it's in the final lecture. It's, it's not difficult. Final lecture. This one right here. Buy announcements Telegram group. And I posted in there this week and a coin 3 x immediately. I don't like doing that. <laughs> I'm DCAing. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's worthwhile being in it. Now, we are in a state where the crypto market is in extreme greed. 86. This is unprecedented bullishness at this point in the market. Typically, it is post-halving. Post that halving date, which is what? Doesn't even have 45 days away. 45 days. And, near, and typically, it's a two or three months after that halving, the party gets started. But the party's already started happening. And that is why we are having serious meme coin action right now. Because there is extreme greed going on. So, with that in mind, where do we sit in terms of the... In terms of the height of the market? Are we near euphoria? Way before we should be. Because typically what happens is a bull market starts after the halving. It takes 18 months, it hits the top... And then we go into a bear market. We are off that schedule right now. We are off pattern. So where are we at? So this is something that's very, very interesting. Something that I was taking very, very good. I was looking at very, very carefully during the bear market is at what point are whales getting in? And this is the whale wallet. This is this is addresses with a thousand bitcoins or less. These are whales. These are the guys that typically are way ahead of you in terms of action. And what we have seen is ever since Bitcoin hit its 16k, what we actually have had is we've had address wallets going down. Now, typically, if it's a bottom, that is the point at which address wallets go up. But actually, it never happened. They kept selling, kept selling, even as the market was going up. And only now has there been a slight pivot back to late 2022 levels. So it's not even the, the, the big money has gotten in yet. But on the other side of the equation, where do we sit in terms of euphoria? So this chart is called the net unrealized profit and loss chart. And what this shows you is basically up to the hour information as to where does the market sentiment sit right now. And as you can see, there's a range of different colors, capitulation, hope and fear, optimism and anxiety, belief and denial, euphoria and greed. It all depends on which direction the, the, the um, graph is going down dictates whether it's hope or fear. If it's going up, it's hope. If it's going down, it's fear. So if it's downwards into orange, 
It's fear. If it's upwards into orange, it's hope. So let's have a look at the history. So this is charting all of Bitcoin's history. And Bitcoin is the barometer, ultimately. So all the way back in 2011, we had, as you can see here, where it says net unrealized profit and loss. <laughs> I can't even read. But you see, it says 0.86. That means 86% of wallets are in profit. Everybody who has bought 86% of wallets are in profit. That is a near total calculation of people in profit. That's euphoria when everybody is in a profit. So it hit 86 Percent. Think of it like that. 86%. 100% is absolute utopia. It will never be achieved. But 86% was hit in 2011. In 2013, because it was an extended bull market, in, 2000, in 2013, it hit 0.81 and it hit 0.83. And that was back in the early days of Bitcoin when there were much less, much less market participants and it was easier for the majority to be in profit. As masses come into cryptocurrency, it becomes harder for euphoria to be hit. And the last time euphoria was hit was actually 2017, where we hit 0 0.76. 0 0.75 is euphoria, and we hit 0 0.76. So we just hit euphoria and then went into a bear market. Then in 20, uh, 2021, the first top in 2021, we hit... 0.74, we were just off euphoria when we hit 63k. Hit 63k in April, May of 2021. That's probably a little bit. April, May 2021, we hit, we hit 0.74. And then for the actual top, for the top in November 2021, we hit 0.63, 0.64. 0.649 and that was the top so we've gone from 86 to 83 to 76 to st uh, <laughs> to 0 0.7 to 0 0.74 just off then 0.65 where are we at today actually up to the minute we are pretty much at 0 0.644 we have equaled the top in the last bull market in terms of sentiment. We are in heavy belief, which is the stage just before euphoria. And that's giving you an indication this is an irrational market. Either, either two things are happening. One, we are having an exacerbated bull market, an expedited bull market before a recession next year. Or we had such bullishness in that we had, we had the missed top in the last bull market, okay? So we didn't hit euphoria. We didn't go to 100k like many people thought we would. We didn't follow the stock to flow ratio. Let me just get this up to date. We didn't follow the stock, the stock to flow ratio because typically what happens is, is that the Bitcoin price shoots well above the level we should be. Okay. So if you think about this, if you think about this is the level where we should have been in 2021, normally Bitcoin shoots above, comes down, and then the consolidation zone is over the line. So what we should have had is we should have gone up here, down, and then gone up and consolidated before going up. But we didn't actually have that. So what we could be in a situation of is, is that we've got a, a missed top from the last market. We didn't go well beyond the line that we typically do, the stock to flow line. So actually, it could be that there was just this wave of sidelined energy, which is now kind of coming back to the fore. We've never had it that in the red zone, close to halving, are we actually surpassing the previous high? Never had that. So we're in an irrational market. We're in new territory. And as a result of that, you've just got to take what comes. Should you sell now? My personal argument is, is no. My personal argument is, though, is that you shouldn't buy coins that are pumping because that gives you the most risk of getting hurt. Right, so with that in mind, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into the action. So before I do that, I've gotten a super chat from Win for 1999. Super, what do you think about Rightstream, Shark Tank 2.0? I actually spoke about Rightstream a couple of weeks ago, and I think I put it in about the 30x to 50x category. I think it's got potential. It's certainly a lot lower market cap than Theta, and as far as a deep in social fight, cryptocurrency is concerned, it's got decent potential based on its current market cap. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly waver off of my typical structure and I'm going to go to a slideshow format. 
So if you don't know who I am, you should by now, but this is for all the people that don't know me. My name is the Supo Man. I've been an OG crypto YouTuber and investor since May 2017. This, my previous channel, which is called the Classic Supo Man channel, you can still watch that. I started making videos all the way back in 2017 before that major bull run to the top. So I turned $1,000 into $13 million, people. So when I say turn $1,000 into $100,000, if not a million, I did it pretty much in one bull run and then, and then multiplied it in the next bull run. So I made my first million in the first six months I was in cryptocurrency. I'm an investor of 100 to 1,000 100, exchanges. I don't go for 2Xs. I don't go for 10Xs. I don't really... Unless I'm putting a lot of money and want money and want kind of wealth preservation, I go for wealth generation. So I look for 100 to 1,000 X gems that I personally have analysed and quantitatively have come to the conclusion that this is worth investing in. I do no sponsored videos. So anybody who said, Super, have you paid and paid to do this? I, I actually get very annoyed and I just block that person because I just find it actually very insulting. My best calls ever, and this is based on cryptocurrencies that weren't, Launchpad cryptocurrencies. These are cryptocurrencies that you could have bought at the same time as me on the open market. The best calls are Matic, which did a uh, 1110x. Binance, which I got 75 cents and it went up to near $700. Bitmax and Ethos. And my best this market calls, this bear market calls, have been Gamer Arena 165x, Bonk 110x, and ProfitBots, which is 70x. And these were all available to buy on exchanges. They weren't launchpad tokens. So my expertise really is layer ones, layer twos, gaming, AI, deep in, and new cryptocurrency. So if you want alpha, I am the man. Now the first cryptocurrency I'm going to be talking about is this one, which is called Vuzz AI. Vuzz AI is a degenerative cryptocurrency. In fact, before I go any further, as usual, nothing I say is to be construed as financial advice. Crypto is largely unregulated and high risk and people who invest should be prepared to lose all their money. And everything I see to you in this video is for informational and educational purposes only. So Vuzz AI is, in my opinion anyway, a decent degenerative bet. What it is, is it's a composable AI modeling uh, project. So what that means is you can create personal AI models for you. So you build it to your needs. You can build your own chat bot. You can build your own PA. You can build your own customer service bot. You can build a AI model that essentially does your work organization for you. So if you've ever seen Black Mirror, if you ever watched White Christmas, there's an episode where basically a copy, a clone is made of someone. It's put in this kind of, um, in this kind of, um, what's it called? Sphere. <laughs> And what happens is, is that this thing actually does everything for you. It organizes your day. It makes sure your toast is done properly, blah, 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 blah. And this is basically the actuality of this coming into reality. So you build, you train it yourself. And what happens is, is that you can actually monetize it. You can actually sell this model. So if it's if it does something that somebody else wants, so it organizes your life for you, it does... It's a, let's say it's a crypto chat GPT, where you ask it a crypto question, it gives you a crypto answer, and it gives you an up-to-date answer... That's what you can sell on. And you can create, and it's good for content creators. It can do a lot of the work for content creators and you can create celebrity character bots. There's tons of things. You can see it in the image right here. Now, the narratives that this serves is AI and AI services. So its competition is AIT protocol, ChatGPT, Bitensor. So it's basically a democratized AI ecosystem, a lot like these three projects. I won't say it's anywhere near the quality of Potensor, but certainly for its market cap, which is $600,000, this is a good bet. So this is presently 0 0.0061 on Uniswap, but I actually think the best place to buy it would be Mexi, because there's like a 10% buy and sell tax, which you don't get on Mexi. So Mexi, you're able to actually just get it pure. So it's a 600k cryptocurrency. The reason I like it is because it's a speculative AI degen play, but it's got a rich suite of services. You can see it here, text to image, image to video, text to video, text to 3D, image to 3D, etc, etc. It's got a, a rich suite of different functionality 
And I think it feels undervalued in my personal perspective. Do I think this is going to, you know, kind of migrate into the league of potential? No. But I do think that as a degenerative play at 600k, it's pretty good for an AI cryptocurrency. Now, his partners are with Google Cloud, OpenFabric, PAL, and Bitensor. So let me just... Hold on. That should not... That should be slide only. Um, so here we are. So here's Vuzz Mine. This is what it will look like on CoinGecko. And as you can see, fully diluted market cap now is 625,000. So train and share your own AI with Vuzz Mind, which you can buy on um, Uniswap, like I say, and Mexi. Unlock the power of AI services with Vuzz tokens, profit from AI creations, access to AI services. It looks decent for a degenerative play, and the website actually I think looks looks pretty exceptional. So a uh, 600k market cap, I would say that you could reasonably expect for this to at least go 20 to 30x. Now, if this is a quality project, if this one actually follows through in momentum, if you've got the osmosis of a long and drawn out bull market, if we're not actually very, very close to the top, then this may have a 100x potential. So from 600k fully diluted, 6 million is 10, 10x, 60k is 100x, the 60 million is 100x, and that does not seem outside of the realms of reality. Next up, let me just, we've got Metados. Metados looks unbelievably good. It's a Fortnite clone, essentially. A Battle Royale Fortnite-inspired game with smooth and high-quality graphics. Now, this is an AVAX coin, so it's AVAX gaming. So it's within the realm of, you know, Gamer Arena, um, uh, Shrapnel, and, you know, those new exciting chain gaming coins. Now, so the competitors for this would be Shrapnel, Bloodloop, Citizen Conflict. It's basically Battle Royale game, gun game, third-person shooter, exciting. I'm going to show you a trailer in a minute. Now, Metados is not actually out yet, but it is going to be coming out around about $258,000 market cap. Now, the reason why I'm bringing you this is because of the next cryptocurrency, and you need to know about this. Because if you wanted to get into Metados, it's not actually difficult, and it's not actually expensive. So, you know, if you were buying this on Seedify, and this is going to be on Seedify, you will need a hell of a lot of Seedify tokens to get an allocation in this and pay a lot of money. So the reason I like this is because it's going to be an extremely low market cap on launch. And it can be obtained through Moon Edge. Mooned. The cryptocurrency I bought you last week, which has a very, very low barrier to entry. And the VCs are Ava Labs, which invests in strong AVAX-based cryptocurrencies, and Seedify. So very, very top quality VCs in there. So if I just show you how this looks, okay? So this one looks really, really good. Uh, let me just put the sound on for this. It's basically Fortnite. Let me just rewind it a little bit more. So look at that. When it comes to the... And they've got crypto names. And when it comes to the player select screen, the only thing they're not doing is dancing. But they're flying into the arena. Looks superb quality, I've got to say. And it pretty much looks exactly like Fortnite. And the way I'm thinking of it is, is that when we've got the battle for the top crypto game, the one that's going to get you know, adoption, one's going to get kids playing. They want something that's very familiar. This looks very familiar. Other cryptocurrencies look a lot like Call of Duty. This one looks almost exactly like Fortnite. And as I said, it's going to be on AVAX. So as far as I'm concerned, this one looks like a very high quality cryptocurrency. And it's obtainable through Moon Edge. So Moon Edge, I bought you last week. Moon Edge is a launch pad that concentrates on upcoming gaming projects, and you only need 5,000 tokens to invest, which is $100. Way cheaper than going through something like Seedify. 
So Moon Edge is a launch pad and also gaming launch pad. So the narratives where this can blow up is when there's a launch pad season and a gaming season and a gaming launch pad season. We've already seen that Seedify has actually outperformed a lot of lo launch pads considering the fact it was already quite expensive. So its competitors are Seedify Game Zone Dailmaker. The price currently is two cents, which is equal to 2.7 million in market cap. Now, the reason I like this is because preeminent projects, gaming projects, are actually launching on this. So you've got Xverse, which I brought you in the last or second to last video. Metados is also coming out. There's a cryptocurrency called Evermoon as well, which is looking a little bit like a League of Legends cryptocurrency. So what you've got is some decent cryptocurrencies that are launching on this platform that's got a very low barrier to entry. And that's why I really like Moon Edge. So games coming up are Metados, Xverse and Evermoon. And so it gives a very, very good reason why this is investable. You know, because as, as many pundits have said, the, the cryptocurrency, the most bullish cryptocurrency terms are gaming and AI. And gaming projects, you know, decent gaming projects appear to be appearing on Moon Edge. In which case, I would say that from a very, very, as being a very low cap, being a very degenerative cryptocurrency, this one I think has potential. So, next up, we have got a cryptocurrency called Trestle. This one is totally under the radar. No one is talking about this one. But this one is extremely exciting because we've got two projects this is very much like, but much less in market cap. So Trestle is the first native layer two roll-up solution that's entirely built for Celestia. So what this enables is for projects and users to be able to access Ethereum via Celestia and the roll-up chain with very fast transaction speed and very low transaction costs. So as we have seen, in the last week with meme season, with Ethereum hitting a local high and getting very, very close to its all-time high, is that gas fees have been ridiculous. And therefore, it's emphasizing the need for layer twos, particularly ones that are attached to very strong technology of which Celestia blockchain has become. It's become a very, very strong cryptocurrency. So the narratives that Trestle satisfies are as follows. Layer 2 cryptocurrencies, modular blockchains, Celestia and Ethereum. So this now goes into that band of Layer 2s. But as nobody's talked about it, nobody immediately thinks of Trestle. But Trestle has got incredible multiplier potential. Its competitors are Manta and Engine Layer. Manta also are compatible with Celestia. And that's gone to a near billion market cap. An engine, an engine layer is also going to, is presently actually over a billion in terms of fully diluted value prior to it coming out. So the price of Trestle is 2.4 cents. That makes it $11.7 million in market cap. Now, look at this. This is an undervalued layer two that's attached to Celestia. Manta is $763 million in valuation. And that is circulating, not fully diluted value. And Egen layer is $1.5 billion in fully diluted value. And it's not even out yet. And everybody's trying to get the airdrop, which is excellent. But if one was to buy it, it's going to be ludicrously expensive. And what you've got is a pretty much a like-for-like -like competitor at $11 million. This is like five times into being a micro cap, all right? This is like super duper low value. And I think it's got a lot of potential. So the VCs for this are Lotus Capital, Rana Capital, and Layer Labs. And this is the reason, probably why it hasn't really you know, dramatically had a lot of marketing because it doesn't have like Binance, Coinbase, and all that. However, technologically, this is very, very strong. Very, very smart guys from what I have seen in terms of the technology. Next up, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> I've completely forgotten the point of this video, which is tier list. So, Metados, let's go back to Metados. So, Metados, from under 300,000 market cap, I think has got 100x potential. Mooned, or Moon Edge, from 
presently being a three million under three million dollar market cap i would say this also has the potential for at least a 30x it's already done kind of a 3x since my last video so it's not going to necessarily be a 100x but this could at least do a 30x maybe even a 50x and then trestle trestle from being an 11 million dollar cryptocurrency considering that you know, Manda is basically nearly a billion. If this was to go to a billion, that would be a 100x. So basically, I will say Trestle, at this point anyway, has got the potential for a 50x. Particularly as I foresee that this is this is a very new cryptocurrency. It's only recently come out, and it's not going to be very long before this, in my opinion, blows the hell up. So there we are. Ah, right, okay, so next up we have got Corpo Games. Now, I was not actually expecting this, but Corpo Games has actually boomed since I uh, since I was going to be talking about it. So Corpo Games, the other day, to me, it was, it was ridiculous how fiendishly undervalued this was. So in my personal opinion, Corpo Games should at least be a $100 million market cap already. Because it's a high quality, high quality games development cryptocurrency. So they're games developers of highly commercial crypto games. So Citizen Conflict is like a mixture of GTA. It's going to be a large game. It's going to be a mixture of GTA and Call of Duty. And then there's Egos, which is basically Fall Guys, which is a very top game on Xbox and PS. So Corpo Games, the narratives that this satisfies is gaming and games developers. The, their competitors are Gala, Nakamoto Games, and Wagme. Now, Nakamoto Games and Wagme actually concentrate, in my opinion anyway, on kind of the, the smaller mini games. And Gala is, although it's got quite a few names under its catalogue, catalog, has actually got the very high quality big games. And what I see with Corpo Games is it's big games. It's not going to be your small games, your mobile play kind of endless tappy, endless scroller games. This, in my opinion, is really, really top quality, large games. And that's why I think it's fantastic and was very undervalued. Now it has pumped up to 58 cents, but it's still only $13.6 million in market cap. To me, I think this is very, very undervalued. So I think it's got a lot more space to run, but it's it's encouraging to see it's 2x because I think that we're actually beginning to realise some of its actual value. So, as I said, high quality, games developers, big game feel, extremely low cap compared to Gala, which is 1.1 billion circula with circulating supply. This is way off that. This is nearly 100x off of that. And this has got so much room to the upside. And this has got Maven Capital, Justice Block Ventures, Magnus Capital, Basics Capital, which are good VCs. So Corpo Games, based on being 13.6 million in market cap, I would say that this one could easily do a 30x. I think that this could go higher, actually, just based on the fact that it's very high quality games and this stands out. The thing is, and this is what could stop it from going even higher, is, is that there's a lot of competition. Games developers, games, new chains... There's a lot of talent coming into cryptocurrency that there's a lot of competition. And with competition, there's a lot of market share that's kind of had an equal segment. So it's more difficult to penetrate or own the market like Gala did in the last bull market. But still, I think that Corpo Games could at least 30x to 50x from here. Next up, we have got Yom. Yom. What a name. Yom is Barely known, undiscovered territory and a cryptocurrency that looks superbly bullish. Okay, so what is YOM? YOM is the first pixel streaming service. So what they do is they render graphical content in real time. Rather than kind of serving uh, unrendered video frames to the end user and then kind of doing it afterwards and, and, and making it, you know, a streaming service, for instance, making the quality better afterwards like you get with most rendering services. This does it real time in the cloud at near zero prices. And so this has got multiple use cases. So this is a deep end project that provides ren graphic rendering for games, streaming services and the metaverse. So this will appeal in the deep end narrative 
which is only getting stronger, only getting more attention. It's a Solana-based cryptocurrency, and it is really geared towards gaming. As a result of that is three mega narratives. Their competitors include Render, Athea, which is going to be coming out soon, Ionet, and Gaming. All of these are kind of rendering services, distributed rendering services for the end user and for projects. So it's in a very, very highly competitive category. However, in terms of the market cap, it is a mere eight million. Eight million dollars. Now, let's compare it to its competitors. Compared to Render, Render is 3.4 billion market cap. Not fully diluted value, market cap. Athe is going to come out at 600 million fully diluted and Gaming 250 million plus. So, Yom, which I think is a great name by the way, Yom, you don't forget that, do you? This is 8 million and it's basically a competitor and it offers a unique service. So it's not just like them, they offer something different, which is pixel streaming, which I think is a very, very, which I think actually gives it uh, a bit of an advantage in some ways. Now, these guys, they haven't got necessarily the most well-known of VCs, but enough to keep this project from, you know, from going downhill. This project now has the support to be able to go up to the big leagues. This did initially go bankrupt, but it was bought out by another company a different vision, better leadership, this one could be poised to the upside because previously when it did go bankrupt, it was because there was no deep in narrative. Solana was taking a long time, the bear market was taking a long time to actually bring, you know, users to these actual platforms. But now it's in a position to thrive and is in a mere $8 million market cap. So from that, with that in mind, I personally think that Yom has got large potential. It's only available on Radium at this point. But I think that Yom has large potential. 8 million, considering Render is 3 billion. This has got potential to at least 50x, maybe even 100x. Next up, we have got Zybot. Zybot is going to be launching tomorrow. And Zybot is an AI play also. So Zybot is an AI-based trending bot. It provides users with up-to-date narrative and coin trends to exploit money-making potential. So this bot is a bit like coin trends. It tells you what's currently emerging. What is the type of cryptocurrency that's currently exploding? So you would have been able to get in on the meme narrative earlier than everybody else. You would have been able to, right, right, memes are starting to explode. Let's get Pepe. Let's get uh, Kokinu. Let's get uh, Myro, let's get He Mule, let's get all of these before they start pumping. You have the inside knowledge. And that's what I like about this because as, a, a, as an investor myself, I want to know before everybody else. I want that competitive advantage. So the narratives that this serves is AI and Telegram bots. Telegram bots is also a very, very good narrative. But AI mixed with Telegram bots is always a powerful combination. So the competitor is actually not a cryptocurrency. It's Cointrends bot. So a lot of the bots that existing, a lot of the Telegram bots that exist right now are actually trading or DeFi bots. So what they will do is they will look at cryptocurrencies that are currently launching and just buy and sell for you. That's the kind of thing that you get with Telegram bots. But this one is more narrative based. It's more information and data based. So the market cap, when it launches tomorrow, is going to be eighty-one thousand dollars. Eighty-one thousand people. If it 10 X's, it's not even a million yet. And if it 100 X's, it's not even gone to 10 million. And that is ridiculous. This, if you get in early, could just be an absolutely incredible buy. It's going to be coming out on the decentralized exchange. It's not going to, yeah, it's going to be coming out pancakes up, I think, first of all. And um, like I said, if this goes up to 8 million, that's 100 X. That's ridiculous. Okay, considering. I, I will say that Telegram bots, they aren't necessarily incredible, pu you know, pumper mental cryptocurrency. So, for instance, competitors that it's got is Banana Gun, 83 million, uh, and Unibot, which is 66 million. All right. And those are, you know, considered the creme de la creme of Telegram bots. And they still haven't even passed, you know, kind of uh, 100 million yet. 
So as a result of that, you know, could this 1,000x, could this get to 80 million? Probably not. But it has got potential to get up to uh, to get up to 100x at least. And this has been incubated by Bluezilla. So Bluezilla is responsible for a lot of the big gainers that I had in the last bull market. A lot of the launch pads I got into, they did supreme because they came out of Bluezilla. Bluezilla are, I believe now anyway, now that we've hit a new all-time high in Bitcoin, now it's kind of, it's kind of invalidated bear market. We're still in a bear market. So they are now... I believe going to ramp up with the amount of projects, but this one, you know, Brazil are very, very good at coming out with the goods. So with that in mind, I would say that Zybot, I would say realistically, this has got a 100x uh, chance. This, if it goes to um, six, if it goes to 40 million, that would be a 500x. I don't think that's going to happen. I'd love to say it would, but I think that I would have to see how it progresses, how how well it gets adopted, because this has not got much competition. That's a good and a bad thing, because on the on the bad thing side, you haven't really got anything to compare it against and say, oh yeah, this could 1000x because something very, very similar, 1000x. But at the same time, this could just be a very, very, you know, this could just be a very, very good investment that surprises you. Right, I've got a couple of a few super chats. So I don't want to miss it, miss them. Uh, bear with me a second. Let me just quiet in a few people because there's quite a few, uh, quite a lot of uh, spam in the chat. So I'm just gonna quiet in some. And that should make the um, experience for you much nicer. Seems to be a lot of people saying Salama. <laughs> what a surprise. Can't get the moderators these days. Right, okay. Um, Corpo went up too fast too quickly. Where do you see it correcting down to? I actually don't think it went up too fast too quickly. I think it was undervalued for too long. It, in my opinion, it should never have been at 28 cents. That was a buy of a lifetime. So I think it could pull back, obviously. It depends on what the market does. If the market keeps going up only, then it probably won't come back. Salama is the next whiff. Salama to the moon. Salama 1000x. Awesome. What do you think of all... Oh, well, that's 23 euros. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Israel. Um, what do you think of Audi Swap and Ori Dex token? Um, I think Audi Swap's okay. I don't know the other one. Um, Outlaws. Super, I really appreciate all your content. What do you use for purchasing tokens primarily? Metamask is my primary, but it's not very reliable. No, Metamask is just fine. Metamask, I think, is actually just, just perfect. Um, Super, can you take a look at Abyss World? I'll probably look at that afterwards. Thank you very much for the $9.99. And Catalin... Why don't you say anything about Dev AI? Because I've not ever seen it. Right, I have, is that it? I think that is it for Super Chats. So I appreciate all of your Super Chats, people. They were very, very nice. Right, next up, we have got a completely new one. I would be very, very surprised if you'd ever heard of this next one. Z Casino. See what they did there with the title? It's ZK Rollups, but Z Casino. Z Casino is an online casino designed to be the fastest and fairest GambleFi crypto project. All right, so you've already had Rollbit leading the way for GambleFi. So what Z Casino satisfies in terms of narratives is gaming, GambleFi, ZK Sync, and ZK Rollup. So they are a ZK Sync partner, but it's also built. It's also powered by ZK Rollup technology. So this is designed to be the fastest and cheapest way to engage with gambling in crypto. So the main competitor is Rollbit. And the price and market, this is gonna be coming out of, this is gonna be a fully diluted value. So the actual market probably gonna be something more like a million, under a million. It's gonna be 1.2 cents coming out. So the reason I love this is because the platform has already got users. It's generated $8 million in revenue and it's going to be a very very low cap competitor to Rollbit when it opens up. So Rollbit, it's got good branding, it's got pretty much the market share of GambleFi, but Z Casino looks technologically like it could be a very good competitor. 
and considering it's going to be probably about a million and roll bit is 381 million with circulating supply this one could be a belter this one could be an absolute belter and this has got as partners maven and ape terminal which are the guys behind uh you know satoshi vm um they're also behind uh uh, AIT Protocol, uh, Ape Terminal themselves, Maven are exceptional VC. Ape Terminal, ZK Sync is a partner, and Egen Layer is also a partner. Very, very high quality GambleFi project. So I haven't really made any plays in GambleFi. I did look at WinR and I looked at the blockchain bets. I have invested a little bit in blockchain bets, but for the future, I actually really like Z Casino. So Z Casino, I think, has definitely got 50x chance. Like, if this was to come out at $1 million market cap, that would be a 380x to get up to roll bit. Now, I'm not necessarily expecting that. But I would expect for this to go at least to 50 million initially and potentially up to uh, 100 million. All depends on how well this is marketed. And I personally think this is going to get some real marketing. Like, I really do. So this could be a 100x. But I'm going to put it in 50x for now, just purely because GambleFi is not necessarily, at this point anyway, the most bullish narrative that exists out there. Next up, I've got another one you definitely will never have heard of. And that is a cryptocurrency called Sharp AI. This one looks like it's going to be a big hit because these are partnered with AIT Protocol. So they are very, very likely to explain out of the blocks, just like AIT Protocol did. A sharp AI is basically like Glassnode with AI functionality. So it's an AI super app providing advanced real-time blockchain and data tracking, automated DeFi functionality and derivatives functionality. So it does a lot of actions for you. And it provides the most optimized yield generation for you. So the best places to optimize your yield and get the best yield for staking your cryptocurrencies. So it's an institutional grade crypto super app. Already sounds incredible. Now this is going to be really AI. Their competitors are GTAI. So GTAI also have a bit of a CFI, DeFi, uh, AI functionality. Arkham, because it's data analytics. Dexchex, also data, wallet and blockchain analytics and Glassnode. So Glassnode, you've already seen, if you were to access Glassnode, it costs you around about $300 a year. So what you've got with Sharp AI is you've actually got probably a, you've probably got a, a more up-to-date uh, analytics tool, more actual metrics to look at, and you would pay with Sharp AI at a discount. So as a result of that, this looks like it could be a real gem. Considering how Arkham has done GTAI, Dex check and how many users Glassnode has got, Sharp AI could be massive. So price, when it gets released, is going to be 1.5 cents with a $15 million fully diluted value. Now you may think, well, that's quite high. It's not. Right? Considering you know, how well uh, AIT protocol did, that's nothing. You know, this could, because it's, again, like I said, it's likely to be a 1 million, 1.5 million uh, initial market cap so it's not going to be fully diluted straight it's not going to be probably fully diluted for a long long time probably not for years so as a result of that what you're actually looking at is something that's more like a tenth of the fully diluted value so i think this one is going to be a major ai ai play particularly because ait protocol has partnered up with them it's got strong fundamentals it's got big ai backing and a low market cap so by big ai backing they have got AIT Protocol and Betensor that's going to be in their partnerships. They've also got Maven, Metabros. Metabros is a really good VC, uh, just like Maven. Uh, Ape Terminal and Morningstar as investors. So Ape Terminal, a lot of the cryptocurrencies that they have invested in have, done, have gone on to do very, very well. And AIT Protocol is probably the one that stands out to me as the AI play that launched on Ape Terminal. So as a result of that, I think Sharp AI is going to be a... I think it's just going to be a big hit. A lot like AIT Protocol ended up being. And I think there's going to be a lot of lessons that were learned from AIT Protocol that can be used with Sharp AI. So Sharp AI... 
this one could be a big hit again. I would say this one's got 100x potential because of the fact it's probably going to be coming out a very, very low market cap, $1 million. It's going to be a super duper AI tool. AI is already very bullish. Depending on when this comes out in terms of the bull cycle, it's got 100. I would say 100x potential. I won't go as far as 500x. Right, so that completes it as far as kind of AI and new cryptocurrencies is concerned. Now what we're going to do is we are going to look at meme coins. Okay, um, just before I do that, let me just make sure there's no super chats. I will check out the dev AI very, very quickly. The 5 million market cap. 2.2x in 30 days. It's not, it's not huge, is it? Let's just have a look and see what it is. Look at that, that website. Oh, it looks, it looks fucking awful. Look at that, that just looks like a scam coin. I don't think that's their intention. I think they're trying to make it look, you know, futuristic or something. But something about it just looks scammy. And I'm pretty sure I've looked at it and thought it looks look shit. Probably why I just didn't bother. It could be why I didn't bother. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't really even explain that much about what they do. Presenting an innovative solution for the common problem of Solidity contract generation. Deploy your contract, smart contract today, through Dev AI deployment bot. Yeah, I, I'm not that bullish on it, to be honest. I don't really like the value proposition. Not hugely, anyway. Um, so what are your thoughts on United Emirates of Fun? I'll look at Super Chats after, because I don't really want to... Thanks for checking Dev AI. They also are a launch pad. I see. Okay. All right. Well, and it's also, what, on Solana? I can't really tell. Because it looks like it's an Ethereum cryptocurrency. Yeah, it is Ethereum. Sharp AI is probably going to be coming out within the next month, I would have thought. Right, okay. Now I'm going to move on to the other part of this, this video, which is about meme coins, because there's quite a few to cover. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you, okay? So you would have seen from my intro, my main, my main expertise lays in AI gaming, some deep in. I'm still kind of getting to understand deep in. Layer ones, layer twos. Memes are not really my bag. I'll tell you why. Because meme coins has infinite competition. There is a new meme coin every second. If I go into my mastermind group, there's another meme coin every second. Somebody else is saying something different. And what that means is, is that in, in, in one chance out of 50 cryptocurrencies, you're probably going to have something that 10x is, and the rest of them are probably just going to die and burn and be nothing and get absolutely nowhere, right? So I don't like to go in meme coins because it's highly speculative and anybody can create one. And what sets a meme coin apart, in my opinion, that's the, the reason for the selection I've got here, is what are brands that are known and what are brands that can last, okay? So the first one is obviously Pepe coin. Now, Pepe coin, you'll probably say, oh, that's boring. But actually, funnily enough, I bought this cryptocurrency after it had had its massive run up. Okay. So I bought it at 0. 0. I bought it at six zeros. I want to say six zeros 70 or so. All right. So wherever that was, around about here, I think that was. Yeah, September. So I bought it around about here. It basically did nothing up until this week. And then finally, boom. Everything just 10x'd it. 10x'd from what I bought it at. And a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, it's best days are behind it. You know, let's look at other ones. Let's look at Kokinu. Let's look at um, Myro and all that. But no, believe me when I say, I mean, look at the volume. 3 billion in volume. That shows you that this is an institutional favorite, as I thought it would be. I already said that I believe that Pepe coin was going to be a 50 exer from the from the point that I um, that I bought it at, which was about 70 six zero seventy seven, and I said it could be a 50 exer from there, just purely because in the last bull market you had Shiba Inu going up to 45 billion, and where Pepe is right now is 10x off that. 
So based on the fact this has done a 10x um, in between, you know, kind of a couple of weeks ago to today, and they could do another 10x, that'd be actually 100x. So I'm staying in Pepe, especially it's got one to one. And when retail does actually come in, they're going to go straight to meme coins because it's easy. It's what happened last time. It's what happened in 2021. That's why Shiba went fucking 515,000 X is because that's what that's what the retail go for. Because they get it. It's, it's fun. It's easily understood. It's just a fucking image, to be honest. And so Pepe being, in my opinion, the king of the new meme coins, because in the last bull market you had, you know, kind of, you had Doge, you had Shiba, you had Flocky. Now we've got a new generation of meme coins and Pepe, in my opinion, is the number one. So this one, I think, is the favourite. So from my perspective, I do think that Pepe could do a 10x from here. It could potentially do a 20x. So it could get a 60 million, a uh, 60 billion. You never know. You never know. It all depends on how long this bull market lasts and for and what violence it achieves. So we could be seeing uh, an overall crypto bull, uh, overall crypto market cap of let's say 15 to 20 trillion. Right. And based on that, yeah, this could this could actually 30x. But I would say if you wanted a relatively safe meme coin, you've got it with Pepe. Next one is Kokinu. Now Kokinu is or Kok in you. <laughs> um I bought this when this had bottomed, actually. So I bought this at I wanna say six zeros nine. Yeah, right right here. I bought it here. Was it there? It's in my DCA mastermind group anyway, but I basically bought it uh, just before it pivoted and did a 4X. Now, why I like cock in you and why I believe... Okay. How can I put this in a non-crude way? Why I like... <laughs> I was going to say cock, but that, that's even worse. Why I like this cryptocurrency is because it is Avalanche's main cryptocurrency. This is the bonk of Avalanche. So that's why I like it. And this is why it's got longevity, in my opinion. And based on its current market cap, now I bought it 4x less. I bought it at, what, I want to say 70 million? I, I still think, again, you know, if this was to, this could do 100x, which would be 26 billion. Let's say Avalanche actually makes a pivot into being like the next Ethereum, right? And it has a, let's say Avalanche does a 20x from even where we are now then that would make something like cocking you saw, right? So if this was 100x, it'd still be half the price that Shiba got to in the last bull market. But I don't think it's necessarily got that much potential. But from 262 million, I would say that this one still has excellent potential. I think that this one could... I think this one could, could 20 to 30x. I will say 30x. The next one is Landwolf. Landwolf is very, very similar to Cock Inu. So Landwolf is the secondary token of the Avalanche chain. So where you have got Bonk was the key Solana based crypto, the, the key Solana meme coin. And then, um, oh, what's the other one? <sighs> what's the fucking name? I can't remember the name. What is it? <laughs> Maybe if I look at it. That's not even on there. Um, so, um, Samoyed. Samoyed. Samoyed was the secondary token. And that also did very well. So Landwolf, considering its fully diluted valuation is 10 million, uh, I would say this one's got potential to do even, to do very well. If this one was to get up to where even Cock in you is right now, that would be a 20x. So I would say that Landwolf has got 30 to 50x potential just purely because from osmosis. If Cockinu does a 30x by rights, uh, Landwolf should do a to do a 50 to 60x. But, I'm, but but because it hasn't necessarily got the brand value and the name like Cockinu, you're just never gonna forget that. And women, no. and it's, this is not gonna be forgotten when retail get in. So therefore, I think that it's probably got about the same potential but it's still very very good potential i think this, this thing this could still last now we're going down into more degenerative cryptocurrencies more degenerative memes those were the safer ones i would say then we have doge chain 
Now, Dogecoin moved up perfectly to Dogecoin. Dogecoin did, um, actually, in the last 30 days, it's done quite a megarific pump. And Dogecoin has also followed suit. You know, this one's done a, a giant pump also. Uh, 75%. 75% in the last 30 days. And actually, a few days ago, it was over 100%. Right, so Doge Chain is the layer two. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a meme coin as such, but it's got meme coin connotations. So by that logic, this moves when meme coins do, and it that's it's just shown that. So whilst it's not meme coin, it's got meme coin price appreciation. So Doge Chain is presently twenty eight million dollar market cap, and is so. In terms of divisibles to Dogecoin's market cap, considering that Dogecoin is a currency, a meme currency, and Doge Chain actually provides utility, a actual actual blockchain, I suppose, an actual ecosystem for Doge Chain, this should have more value than it's presently got. I think that Doge Chain could, from here anyway, uh, shed another zero and probably add a four to it. So I would say that Doge Chain has got thirty to fifty x potential. The next one is also a cryptocurrency on a new chain. This one is Internet Computers Cryptocurrency. I see Ghost. Now this one, because it's on Internet Computer, is not actually got the exposure than something on Avalanche, something on Solana, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain. And that's what gives this actual potential for longevity. Because this was the first meme coin... Uh, on the IC uh, on the Internet Computer Protocol. Now, it doesn't actually have the market cap here. Let me just see if it's on on here. But I think that this is that this is in the low millions. Oh, they haven't even got it on here. I think this is in the low millions. So actually, I think that uh, IC Ghost, which is as I said, is basically the mascot for Internet Computer. It's the number one for Internet Computer. Then I think that this one. Uh, look at this. The first decentralized meme coin on internet computer. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. It's basically like the ghost from Mario. And I think that it's, it's only purely because the ICP ecosystem has not actually even property expl probably exploded yet. But it will. In my opinion, I think it's, it could in the next bull market. So, Or in this bull market. Next, this, whichever it so happens to be. So in my personal opinion, I think the ghost, this one has got 30 to 50x potential. Next one is one you will definitely never have heard of. And to me, it's like, to me, it's a favourite of mine. And that is this one, which is Win Doge. This is, again, an ICP cryptocurrency that the Internet Computer Protocol uh, community absolutely loves. Again, the Internet, compu the internet Computer um, community is actually very, very small. Um, and that's why you've got a trading volume of 74,000, but yet with that volume, and it's gone up 31%. And overall, in the last 30 days, it's actually down 12%. So it just goes to show you that this, the, the ICP ecosystem hasn't really probably blown up yet. And there are a lack of people that are exploiting that, that system. But as this bull market progresses, there's going to be more meme coin seasons. Just so there's going to be gaming, and there's going to be AI, uh, and there's going to be... Um, layer 2, etc. It's going to be more meme coin seasons. And the thing is, is that ICP cryptocurrencies are going to grow in popularity in that time. It's going to get more exposure. And this is the number 2. This is the Samoid. This is the Land Wolf of Internet Computer Protocol. And it's really cool. I love it. I love it because of the retro design. And it's it's just yeah, exactly what I, what I gravitate to. This is the kind of thing I personally like. Um... And like I said, it's really, really celebrated by the ICP community. So I would say that based on 3 million, 30 million would be a 10x. 1 billion would be a 100. No, wait a minute. 3 billion, 30 billion, 300 million would be a 100x. I don't think it's got that potential, but this has got 30 to 50x potential and could be larger. I may be completely overvaluing ICPs. Um, ecosystem growth or I could be devaluing it and it could be a fantastic surprise but you can see the volume that is, is hardly known 74,000 so this hasn't got the institutional attention yet 
And that's what drives that's what drives meme coins is institutional attention. The institutions, you may not think it, you may think, oh, the institutions, they're only gonna go after, you know, your your fundamentally sound cryptocurrencies. No, they love meme coins. So they could this could be an opportunity area for them. The next one's a very weird one, in my opinion. But but I actually think that it's it's quite interesting. And that's dog in the pool. This one here. This one. That at this point is uh, is not very well known. So it's meant to be like dog with hat, which has exploded uh, on Solana. And this is also another Solana based token, which is dog in the pool. Right. It's not very well known. It's not got a lot of trading volume. And as a result of that, it's fully diluted market cap is 2.3 million. Now that means this has got real high potential to the upside. It's a stupid coin. But it's funny also at the same time. It's just interesting. And it's not actually, it's not actually like pumped yet. And that's what I like about it. Look, 24 hours, 12%. It's not done anything. So this is ripe for the pumping. And this is, as I said, very, very degenerative. Very degenerative. Yeah, you know, this could go nowhere or it could go extremely high. Yeah, you, know, you never know. But it's something different, isn't it? It's still dog focused and it's still got that whole, it's not whiff, yeah, you know, it's not dog whiff hat, it's dog in the without the E. All right, so it's got, it's got, it's kind of similar. So I would say it's a purely degenerative play from a 2 million market cap. I would say that this could do a 10x, could do a 100x. You know, it could, it could do less than that. All right. So on the balance of probability, I'm probably going to say a 20x. You never know. The next one is what I actually, actually really like. So it's the Tate token. All right. Now I made a massive mistake. So last year I actually rode this pump. Last year I rode this pump. And I made a lot of money on Tate coin. And then it just went down. It, like the volume, like look, under a thousand, right? And it went down to, it looks like nine zeros, one eight. And then Andrew Tate said that he was going to bring out a cryptocurrency. And then this, this near hundred X, it like 20, it like 30 X instantly. 30 X instantly. And I had the opportunity to buy it down here and make a massive multiplier. Now, Andrew Tate is not what he was. He's not you know, quite as relevant as he was. I believe he's still only allowed in Romania. Uh, in my opinion, he's kind of a bit of a sellout. He's not what he was. He was more fun before. But he's still got a ginormous community on Twitter and on social media generally. So all he has to do is say anything about a crypto, anything cryptocurrency related at an opportune time and bang. This one could, okay, maybe not 500x. But look at the market cap. And that's not on there. I think the market cap's like 100k or something like that. 500k. 500k market cap. So, uh, so yeah, from all it, all it takes, this is not one that's necessarily going to pump now. And in fact, it's not really even pumped that much. Okay, so look, in the last 30 days, 63%. Now, when you consider that something like Pepe, which was like a ginormous market cap as it was, and that did a seven, 700%, then this one also has room to the upside. You know, he could become very, 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 very relevant again. All he has to do is one tweet during meme season, bag. You've got a 100x there, potentially. So very, very degenerative. It has it serves almost no purpose throughout. He has already said that this is not his cryptocurrency. This, he didn't bring this out. Somebody else did. But Tatecoin is acknowledged as the Andrew Tate cryptocurrency in the market. So if anything related to Andrew Tate, which I, to be honest, I haven't heard anything in a while, anything related to him really pumps, this coin will pump. So this one could have, you know, from being half a million to get to 5 million would be a 10x. 50 million would be a 100x. I would say 50x. That makes it quite high in terms of performance. Next, Wojak. Wojak is an internet brand, an internet meme identity. I love the Wojak figure. Okay, now I bought some of this at 3017 on Mexi. At least I put a 
a buy order and it half hit. So I didn't get as much as I wanted and then it just soared because I got that months ago. Um, and I said it during my live stream. And yeah, I would say that Wojak is like a bit like Pepe, a very recognized internet meme figure. You only have to look at like the Bizanachi, um, low quality uh, videos, um, though, though, those people that make those Wojak stories, they're great stories, particularly the crypto ones. I love watching them. I could watch them for hours. In fact, I have once upon a time watched them for hours. And the fact this is now the main, the main coin for Wojak. Um, and what I saw actually is some of the Wojak creators that I watch on YouTube, they were actually sponsored by, so I think one of them, Daffa. If you watch Wojak, you'll know, probably know Daffa. But um, Daffa used to make really, really high quality Wojak videos. And they actually sponsored him to do a Wojak video. And he put it in, he put Wojak coin being transacted in a Wojak cartoon, which I thought was excellent, or animation, which I thought was excellent. And um, this is respect, this is the Wojak coin. Now, it's a 44 million market cap. Do I think that Wojak has the potential to be like Pepe and go into the, you know, multiple tens of billions? Probably not. Where it is now, I would say it's got 30x potential. When I first covered it, this was a 100x cryptocurrency. But now, maybe not. 30x. Next one is Myro. Myro is the dog of the founder of, or one of the co-founders of Solana. I think this one is really overvalued. 335 million for this cryptocurrency. I think it's just insane. You know, Pepe, I understand. But what you've got to see is you've got to look at the volume. The volume's very high, which means this is under institutional watch and institutional, well, probably buying as well. So that means strength for the, the whole bull market. So what I would say is, is I wouldn't buy this now. I would wait until mean season ends and you get another gaming, another AI, another layer one, another layer two season, and then memes just go back. They may not go back all the steps, but I would wait for this to come down like 60% or something and then get into Myra if you're going to get into it. Or at least get into it. Yeah, look, a 369% in the last 30 days. Now, it's too high. I would say that Myra, based on being, you know, well over a quarter of a million, a uh, quarter of a billion in market cap. I would say this one's probably got 10x to 20x from here. But like I said, it's got institutional money in it. So you never know. You never actually know. Could do better. But I would say that I would wait for this to go down and then buy it if you're going to buy it. It's obviously strong. It obviously gets talked about a lot. Next one is Salabrador. Now, Salabrador have been, I believe anyway, from what I've heard, has been taken over by another team. And the token has, there's now a, a token swap. So I'm not sure this is accurate information because I don't think the fully diluted value is 130,000. But this is basically a dog meme coin on Solana. Salabrador. So, you know, you talk about Labradors with Sol. So there we are. Well, not with Sol, but with Solana. So this one, I also think... Um, it's a real degen. It really could go either way. Like, it's obviously not got Samoid, Bonk, Myro. It's not got that level of interest. But if you are uh, an insanely degenerative gambler and you want something that has not been pumped and is a very, very low market cap, you never know. There uh, must might be a bunch of money that goes into this. So I would say Salabrador could do anything from kind of a 20x to a 500x. And I'd say on the balance of probability... I'll probably put it in 20x just purely because of how it's performed recently. Um, this hasn't had the greatest of price action. So from that perspective, you know, really in December was its best. And even during a meme coin season. And it's probably to do with the token swap or whatever. But um, even before that happened, like there was no real price action with it. So it's kind of gotten forgotten. And that's it, people. So um, let's have a look and see if there's any more, any more for any more. Trump with hat. Let me have a look at that one. I'll take a few. I don't want to be on too long because obviously I've been on an hour and nine minutes, which I was not intending in the first place. I thought I would get through this a lot quicker. 
Um, Trump with hat. I find that the best place to look uh, is, is, is CoinGecko, funnily enough. But it's not there. Let me see if it's on here. No. It's got the liquidity pair. It doesn't have the... Um, Let's see if it comes up on... What the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> Deck screener. 7.3... 7.3k market cap. Is this real? Trump with hat. Interesting. Everybody seems to be selling it, to be honest. They're selling it in droves by the looks of it. And that's the thing about meme coins. That's why, as you've seen with my list here, is we're looking at meme coins that at least have uh, you know, a fighting chance of having longevity in this entire market. You know, These are the kind of the, the, the flockies of the last market where they're kind of embedded into meme cult, crypto meme culture and they're not going to go anywhere. You know, some, you know, Salabrador, that's a risk. Um, dog with, uh, dog in the pool is also a, um, a risk. But the others, you know, these are ICP. Uh, ICP, the, uh, the, these are always going to be remembered as the first meme coins of ICP. So I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Tate, well, unless he dies or something, he's not going to go anywhere. The rest of them have got strong brands. Just, I would say, dog with, dog in the pool and uh, and Salabrador are the weakest, the degenist. But then that's why they're the cheapest also. But that's what I tend to look for. Ones that either have the institutional money. So um, Pepe, Cock, <laughs> um, uh, Landwolf, Myro. They've got institutional money. You just need to wait for a good point to buy it. That's what I would say. Salam is the next whiff. Mm, I, don't, I don't necessarily think so. Please take a look at Turbo AI meme. I saw Turbo actually was pumping the other day because it was one of the trending coins. One hundred fifty-two percent, fifty-three million, twenty-four million volume. That's very good. That obviously has interest. A meme coin made by AI. Cool. How old is this? Old-ish, this came out Pepe time. I remember Turbo. There was a lot of people in my mastermind group that got in on this. And it's nowhere near its all-time high. 74% from its all-time high. But still 10 x in the last five months. So, mm, I would add this to my, AR, to my meme coin... Uh, not portfolio. Watch list. Because that's got institutional money. which Well, not institutional money, but it's got a large enough amount of money that almost looks institutional. There we are, meme coins. This is planet Earth. Oh, it's already there. It was already there. Oh, what a beauty. Hemuel is the king, and I covered Hemuel. About three weeks ago when it was at 0 0.001. And that's had a mega pump. Jesus Christ. And that's just seven days. That's not even the 30 day view which it can't show on here. Um, I actually should have added Hemuel to that list. It's still only 51 million. But it's obviously coming under good volume. Shiba Inu's got a stupid amount of volume, actually. This didn't move for the longest time. Trump with hat on soul. Trump with hat on soul. Slama, slama. Trump with hat. Based devs. Oh, shit. What the hell? Getting in early is the most... <laughs> it just clicked on a crypto... Lady of crypto video. Interesting. I just lost 
my interface totally. So bear with me a second. There's no sign of life. By the way, people, if you could be so kind, if you are enjoying this kind of content, just tap a like, watch it animate, and it makes me happy. Every time you press it, I'll just smile. So I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to talk about gaming. Um, gaming. I'm going to leave the rest of them. I'm going to leave these four till next time. Because I'm kind of pushed for time today. Ah, there we are. I'm back. Bruce Lee Llama Guy. What? Bruce Lee Llama Guy. Check Slama chart. I'll have a look. This is planet Earth. Bab fucking hell. This is done... At one point, this done a near, t this done a near three x. Wow, five hundred and ten percent. That's excellent. Two million. I mean, it's respectable for its mark. Five to one. Well, four to one actually. Still looks the same. Unofficial Solana mascot. <laughs> Super. Can you have a look at code exchange? Okay, that will be my last one because I don't want to. Oh Jesus. I'm pretty sure I've looked at this. Oh, no, maybe I haven't. Fastest way to build dApps without code. Building takes expensive time soon. Codex is an all-in-one no-code AI-powered ecosystem for Web3, mass adoption, blah, 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 blah. 66,000 smart contracts deployed. How many... Where's the, f where's the, um, oh, right, this must have their own chain, because I can't see any analytics for the chain. Create your dApp, fast way to, there's loads of these, Unibright, there's loads of these no-code dApps. Um, yeah, th this kind of cryptocurrency does fuck all for me, not at all interested in that. Let me just make sure there's no more, Jesus coin. What do you think about halv halving? There's a mean coin called halving. Let me just have a quick look at that. See if that's true. Wow, 146%. Still 1.7 million though. <clears throat> so here. Halving BTC. Let's have a look. Cool. It's all right. Would I invest in it? No. Nope. Probably not. Oh, <clears throat> I kind of like the fact that there's there's a brandable event attached to it. Yeah, I kind of like that. It, it doesn't really do much for me, but I kind of like it. I like animal ones. All right, people, I think that's it. Let me just make sure there was no more. There were not. So that's it, people. Um, let me know in the comments, by the by. Oh, hold on. Let me have a look at that. Brett. I've seen that. I've seen that name a few times. Brett! Three million in volume. That's not bad. 23x. That's pointless. I would not buy that. 23x. Interesting to look at, though, for next time. Cool. Oh, I like that. That is good design. That's great design. The biggest community meme coin on Solana. ETH has Pepe. A Avex has Landwolf. And Sol has Brett. That's <laughs> pretty cool, you know. I kind of like it. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. But very, very... But at this point, um, it's done too much of a multiplier. But this is the this is an a, a example of a coin that's just done the meme you know, done meme marketing just right, but this is, this is 50, this is a one in a hundred 
kind of cryptocurrency where you do a, a, a massive multiplier like that in a short space of time. I still think mine one was the best. He mule. 50x. Get in. Right, that's it, people. Thank you very much for turning up today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some very, very good alpha in today's episode. And uh, I appreciate you all for being here. If you could tap a like on the way out, I would be immensely happy and uh, pleased. And also at the same time, if you want to see what I'm DCAing into, then pop into uh, this course here, final lecture. Um, discount is in the description if you're interested. But um, otherwise... I shall see you of the soon, but there we are. These are my rankings, and as you can see, there's some, some good ones. I'm going to add these to um, my ever-growing list of 100 to 1,000 Xs. Till next time, people. You've been amazing. I love you all. Thank you, everybody, for your contributions, and you want me to look at your coins, and I'll see you next time. It is lights out. All out.